everyone, I'm Hudi from 508 and uh, in this video I would like to talk about Alliance Creation as you probably guessed from the title. Before I get into that, I have received a promo code from the AOZ devs. This code will work for all of the new players, uh, accounts created after 16th of November, that is. Uh, how to apply the code? Go to the account, settings, redeem gift and you write in hoodie. You will receive three super tickets, some speed ups and few other things. It's a small but a great bonus, right? Back to the video topic. Alliance formation for all of the aspiring leaders among you. There are numerous things to take in consideration. First and the most important thing before we start, I need to mention that making a new alliance outside of the first two days of the nation is almost impossible. Now let's say you decide to play in a new nation and you want to create an alliance. What you need is friends, few bucks and a vision. When you make it to the new nation, create an alliance. Then you need to invite all of your friends. Uh, after that you will have 4 hour window before you can start contributing to the alliance technology. Uh, what you need to do within those four hours is scan the map. Find a place where there are most benefit buildings along with elite resource tiles in a very tight area. Once you have your sights on the spot and the four hours pass, you and your friends need to rush the alliance technology to get 1200 alliance points. Because you need to be fast about the first 1200 points, it's advised to use gold as much as needed to get it ASAP. Once you have enough alliance points and you build alliance hall in a place you looked up before, uh, then the few bucks, uh, as I was saying, comes into play. Uh, you need to purchase a lot of gold to start creating the territory. Thankfully, uh, there are a few very cheap packs that will give you ridiculous amounts of gold. So it's not that expensive. How to build a territory. You're trying to connect as many benefit buildings as possible with the Alliance flags. Now the Alliance flags cost gold. Uh, the first ones are very cheap, but with each flag you create, the price keeps increasing. Once you are satisfied with your territory, uh, best to use all flags possible. Uh, you can redirect your attention to gaining power. Everyone wants to be in the top 5 alliance, therefore if your alliance gets to the top 5 with incredibly good territory first, then you get to choose players you want to play with. That will assure your victory. Now if you follow everything I mentioned in this video, your alliance is sure to be in a leading position. What you do after that is pretty simple. Uh, you're focusing your alliance technology uh, to reach level 15. Uh, because then you can create the Alliance Institute, which will allow you to get some technologies like the Alliance Cannon that will allow you to uh, to bombard away a city from your territory uh, and some other some other incredible bonuses, right? But after level 15 It's probably best if you focus on the purpose that you built your Alliance for for example I have built a powerhouse Alliance where we will be focusing on war, but if I were to create a farm alliance, I would definitely be focusing on producing and trying to level up as much as possible right here, so the farms can have like the passive income as big as possible, so you can then gather them with your main city for resources. Now I know that my alliance doesn't have the huge territory I talked about, but trust me, I had to learn the hard way, and this is the result. My alliance is what happens if you decide to create an alliance on day 2. Still have some territory, but it's not that big. Also, it is very hard to take over someone else's territory. So it would be the best if you created a farm alliance where you will be growing your alternative accounts and do the same thing, except you focus on elite resource styles rather than benefit buildings. Now that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.